In this video, we are going to create this speech to text or you can say voice to text converter in Flutter. So as you can see, this is the UI and if we hold this button, the animation will be started. And once we leave it, the animation and also the color of it is changed. So after we start holding this, we can start speaking and whatever we speak is converted to text here. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So let's get started. Okay, so we have our project in our VS Code and in this project in the lib folder, I have created these three files in the main.dot. I have changed the color of my status bar to transparent and after that in the stateless widget which is my app I am returning a material app on which home property is speech screen and this is a stateful widget and it will be our main screen and after that I have color star dot in which these are two colors that we are going to use in our application so just close it and go to your speech screen and here Let's create the UI first. For that, I will just use an app bar. And in the app bar, I will use a title. So text, it will be speech to text. And now I have to style it. So text style. And let's just make it bold. So font weight will be W600. And also change the color. So color will be text color which is our custom color that we created in our color star dot file and after that change the background color of our app bar to dg color and also remove the elevation to 0 after that this is our output now we have to center the title so center title will be true ok let's add some decoration at the app bar so in the leading property i will just use an icon and say icon start sort and round it and change the color to color start white ok this looks good so after that let's create a variable here and name it text and say hold the button and start speaking so after that go to your body and add some padding here so edge insets dot symmetrical so horizontally it will be let's say 24 and vertically it will be 16 save it let me just close this okay after that we have to add margin so edge inset start only at the bottom which is 150 save it so if we just change the color of our container color start red so our container is covering this much space which is okay after that in the child property let's just remove this color now okay in the text widget let's use our text save it so this is our text now we have to make it in center for that i will just use alignment property and say alignment dot center and it is in center now we have to style it so style text style and just increase the size of it so size will be 24 color will be color start black 87 and after that change the font weight so font weight dot w600 save it ok so as this is acting as a hint let me just change this to black 54 ok now let's create a button down here so that we can use that for recording so I will just use a floating action button so in the scaffold I will use floating action button and in here I will use a circle avatar and change the background color to pg color and radius to let's say 35 and after that 
I will just close a child and say icon and icon start mic and change its color to color start white save it so now here is our floating action button now we have to move its position from this side to center for that i will use floating action button location in our scaffold and say floating action button location dot center float now it is in center okay mm. let's add some more functionality to our this button for that we will use a package so control shift p on vs code and here we have to type add dependency and after that we have to type the name of our package which is avatar blow and after that just press enter it will download this package and add it to your pubspec.yaml file after that you can use it so i will just wrap my circle avatar with avatar glow and after that i have to provide the end radius which will be let's say 75.0 save it okay now i have to provide some other values so animate will be true after that we will say duration so duration of animation will be in milliseconds which will be 200 sorry 2000 which means 2 second and glow color will be same as our background color and after that repeat will be true and repeat pause duration will be milliseconds and 100 and after that show two glows will also be true and it's okay save it as you can see our button is animating now so what we have to do here when we hold this button we want it to animate and also record the voice so this animation will work only when we hold it so we have to add it into a variable so we can control this thing so var and let's say is listening it will be false by default and after that we have to change the animate according to our is listening variable and remove this constant from here okay as the value is false it is not animating okay so now the ui is done what we have to do here we have to add the functionality of holding on this button just like we hold our voice note button in whatsapp or messenger so for that we will just wrap our circle avatar into a gesture detector and instead of on tap property we will use on tap down and after that we will just change the set state of our is listening to true and once we leave this button we want to change the status of our is listening to false again sorry we have to set state here okay now let's check it so if we hold it you can see it starts animating and once we leave it it stops animating okay let's also change the mic also according to our condition so that if is listening then use this mic icon else use icon start mic none and also remove this constant save it so now the mic is empty and once we hold it it will be changed and animation will be started so now we have to add the functionality of recording for that first of all we have to go to our android folder and after that app and in the build.gradle file we have to change few things which is the compiled sdk version and we have to set it to 33 which is latest at this time and after that we have to change the minimum sdk version to 21 and also change the target sdk version to 33 now let's close this and go to source main android manifest.xml and here we have to add the permission so we have to add these two permissions which is one to record the audio and the other is to use the internet so just save it now close this 
and add another package into your application for that just press ctrl shift p and add dependency and here you have to type speech to text and after that just press enter it will download this and add it to your application after that you have to stop this application and rerun it so that everything gets downloaded into your application so after that let's create an object of this speech to text so speech to text and name it anything speech to text and say speech to text okay so now what we have to do we have to listen the voice once we hold the button so in the own tab functionality just cut it and check if our is listening is true or false so if it's false then what we have to do we have to initialize our speech to text for that i will create a boolean and name it anything available and make it now we have to make the own tab a sync and just say await and speech to text start initialize it will initialize this variable and store the result in a boolean format so we have to check if it's available means if we can start the speech to text functionality then set state and here we have to set the is listening to true and after that we have to set our speech to text dot listen and on here we have to use the own result and here we have to use set state and set our text is equal to result dot recognized words save it okay so this is the functionality when we hold it now we have to add the functionality when we leave it so when we leave it we have to set state and make our is listening to false and then just speech to text dot stop so it will stop listening okay so after restart when we tap on this button we have to allow the permission so just allow it and now we can record everything so as you can see what we are speaking is converted to text here okay so now it's working now what we have to do is change the color when is listening is true so before that what we have to do is make our container wrap in a single child scroll view so that if we continue to speak this space will get covered and after that we can scroll our container for that we can use this single child scroll view and make the reverse property to true and after that add a bouncing effect so it is on the top now what we have to do we have to make it in center we have to use it which is media query dot off context dot size dot width and after that we have to use the height property which is media query dot height into 0.7 Okay, now it's in center so let me just change the color to see how much space it's covering okay so now let's remove this color and once we start speaking and that voice getting converted into the text which need to change the color of the text for that in the text widget we will use our condition that if is listening then say color start black 87 else you can use this color and also we have to remove this constant and we are okay so let's just restart once again okay so now it's restarted let me just hold it and you can see the color is changed and whatever we are speaking is getting converted to text so i hope you like this video if you did please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded see you in the next one till that allah is